Despite the desire of Russia and Saudi Arabia to have the prices of oil be as high as possible and stay up forever, the BRICS meeting on August 22nd is not going to save the price of oil. The most obvious situation is that from the 21st of August or so, it is likely that oil prices will rise until October 5th. So there's a few month rally that is in the cards, but then the prices are likely to go straight back down again and lower than they have been this year. Interestingly enough, a 51.6 year cycle is directly connected to this time when Nixon took the US dollar off the gold standard in 1971. 52 years later is 2023 actually. And so we're looking at a very significant re-establishment of the basis for money going forward. And that will affect all of the different currencies and it will affect all of the different banking systems. And it also will, one way or another, affect commodity prices, affect stock prices, affect inflation, deflation. It's an extremely significant point of reference that's starting to be established and hasn't been in 50 years. The cycles are very clear about what will happen. It is likely many markets will be affected and it is likely the volatility will pick up. Now that isn't obvious superficially. But in order to find out more about what the other effects will be of this remarkably significant currency issue, it's uh, it's a good time to really learn how to forecast. So we're giving a class starting on July 14th, this coming Friday, and we're going to have some new material, and we're also going to emphasize the effects on the next six to eight months of what's going to happen in the most significant markets related to this BRICS event. So it's worth learning to forecast now.